Hi everyone, this is Gaurav from Aviatrix and today we are going to talk about the Transit Gateway Peering feature that we released recently. Transit Gateway Peering enables connectivity across multiple transit networks by connecting two or more Aviatrix Transit Gateways. The transit networks could be either within the same cloud provider across different regions or it could be across cloud providers. For example, in this picture, you can see that we have three transit networks. Two of them are in AWS and one is in Azure. And once these transit networks are connected using transit gateway peering, all the VPC or VNet seeders as well as on-premise routes are dynamically propagated throughout the network and you won't have to manually do it. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to set up transit gateway peering. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will have two AWS DGWs in US East 2 and US West 2 regions. We will have two transit VPCs connect to each DGW and we will have uh, Aviatrix transit gateway in each of the transit VPCs. We will also have a spoke VPC attached to each DGW and once the transit gateway peering is done, we will test the connectivity from the instance in spoke VPC in US East 2 to the instance in spoke VPC in US, US West 2 region. To save time, I have already created most of this setup except the transit gateway peering. Now, if you want to know how to create the setup using Aviatrix DGW Orchestrator and Transit Network Workflow, you can go to our website, search for transit gateway peering and follow the steps given there. Now let's move to Aviatrix controller and see how to build this. So this is the Aviatrix controller. I want to show you what I have built for this demonstration purposes. So let's go to the view section in TGW Orchestrator workflow and this will tell you exactly what I have today in my architecture. So we have two transit gateways. One is in East, East 2 and one is in West 2. If I expand this, we have uh, three security domains and I have a transit VPC in the Aviatrix Edge domain. And similarly, I have a Aviatrix Edge domain in Transit Gateway East 2 and we have a transit VPC there as well. We also have a spoke VPC which is part of our default domain and similarly here as well. So this gives you a complete picture of what you have in your network today. Okay, Right now the transit gateway peering is not there and I want to show it to you. You see there is nothing here and I also want to make sure that what if we don't have this connectivity we should not be able to ping from the instance in spoke VPC in US East 2 to the instance in spoke VPC in US West 2. So let's test this out. In this test feature, I'm going to choose my region, choose the right VPC in this region and query the resources. Similarly, I'll go to my US West 2 region, choose the spoke VPC here and query the instance. Now, once I select both these instances and say that I want to test ping test on their private interfaces, it will show me the result of this test and it will also show me all the information that I need to troubleshoot if there is a challenge. So we already have our result and it says that security groups are good to go, route tables are passed but the TGW route table, there is a fail. And the reason is it could not find a valid route in the TGW route table of the source to route traffic to, to this IP, which is the IP of uh, uh, our instance in spoke VPC. So that means there is no connectivity today. Now let's go back to the transit peering tab in transit network workflow. Click on add new choose both the transit gateways. So this is my first transit gateway in East 2. This is the second transit gateway in West 2 and click OK. It may take a few seconds to peer these two transit gateways and it says it's a success. Yeah, 
the tunnel status is up now. So let's go back to the test feature. Let's select our instances in the spoke VPCs in both the regions and test out the connectivity. Here are our instances. We will still test them on private. And let's do the flight path test. And we have the result. Everything is good. Routable is good. Last time, if you remember, we had a problem with TGW Routable where we could not find the route to the instance in spoke VPC in US West 2. But you can see that everything is passed, everything is passed. That means that our transit gateway peering is a success. So this is how you can connect multiple transit networks together using transit gateway peering feature. If you have any questions uh, about how to do transit gateway peering or want to know more about Aviatrix TGW Orchestrator, Aviatrix Transit Gateway, or any other feature, feel free to reach out to us at customer success at aviatrix.com. Thank you so much.